Welcome to the Daytona Beach Area Coalition Community Event. This community event is part of a study that is being conducted to evaluate proposed transportation solutions for segments of Atlantic Avenue, East ISB, Main Street, Seabreeze Boulevard, and Oak Ridge Boulevard. The study is considering capacity, safety, and multimodal enhancements along the subject corridors while minimizing potential impacts to the natural and human environments. This presentation will provide information on recommended corridor concepts that were developed based on community input received at the first community event held on July 15, 2021. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dial in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at https colon slash slash www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 449-490-1. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to display the same options. The blue arrows in both images point to where you will find the question box. You can type a comment or question into the question box. Then click Send to submit your comment or question to staff. The red arrows in both images point to where you can find handouts, documents, and comment forms for this public meeting. Click the Handouts icon to see available handouts. Click on the file name to download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar to report it. Send an email to carolyn.fitzwilliam at dot.state.fl.us to report it, or call 386-943-5215. Staff will do their best to assist you. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by November 24, 2021, which is 14 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. This public meeting is being recorded. This presentation is posted on the project's webpage. For those in attendance at the in-person location, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at https colon slash slash www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 449-490-1. You may also email your comments and questions to the project manager directly to stephen.buck at dot.state.fl.us. You may mail written comments and questions to project manager Stephen Buck. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5171 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours after the public meeting. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received. The Florida Department of Transportation is required to comply with various non-discrimination laws and regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399, 
1-800-273-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This public meeting was advertised in the Florida Administrative Register on FDOT's Public Notices website and Daytona Beach News Journal. In addition, interested individuals, elected and appointed officials, and government agencies were also notified about this public meeting. The Florida Department of Transportation has been looking at improvement needs along State Road A1A in Flagler and Volusia counties. We are starting with a segment in Volusia County which includes some of the major cross streets like East ISB, Main Street, Oak Ridge Boulevard, and Seabreeze Boulevard. We have a number of projects currently underway along these corridors. Oak Ridge Boulevard from Halifax Avenue to State Road A1A is under construction. East ISB between Halifax Avenue and State Road A1A is in final design and right-of-way purchase phase. We have a 3R resurfacing, restoration, and rehabilitation project coming up along State Road A1A between East ISB and Seabreeze Boulevard. We wanted to look at all these projects collectively to identify corridor improvements for this area. These projects provide immediate opportunities to implement some of the recommendations that will come out of this study. The purpose of the study is to develop a coalition of public and private stakeholders, develop a shared vision for key transportation corridors, seek community input on travel options, develop concepts and implementation strategies. Here are the project partners, City of Daytona Beach, City of Holly Hill, Lodging and Hospitality Association of Volusia County, River to Sea Transportation Planning Organization, Volusia County, and Votran. We also have stakeholders like Boardwalk at Daytona Development, Beachside Neighborhood Watch, Plaza Resort, Daytona Regional Chamber, and Sons of the Beach. Members of the public are also critically important to the study. We'd like to hear from everyone in this community, whether you're here to live, work, learn, or play. Rigorous analysis of various data sets were conducted to fully understand the corridor issues. There were 711 crashes in the study area between 2013 and 2018, of which 91% were auto crashes and the remaining 9% were bicycle-pedestrian crashes. The majority of the pedestrian crashes were concentrated at the intersections. There were also seven fatalities in five years on the study corridors, which highlights the immediate need for significant safety improvements. The study corridors also get congested during event days like Daytona 500 and Daytona Bike Week. In addition, delivery trucks and tourist buses often block lanes, causing congestion along the corridors. In addition to addressing the safety and mobility issues in the corridors, we captured the community vision in our concepts and included landscaping and beautification features to make the corridors aesthetically pleasing. We also considered all the comments you provided at the last community event. We will present the recommended concepts for each corridor next. Let us start with Atlantic Avenue, which is also known as State Road A1A. State Road A1A is a four-lane divided roadway with sidewalks along both sides and some landscaping is provided in the raised median. The roadway is lined with retail businesses and hotels throughout the study limits. During events, vehicle and pedestrian traffic overwhelms the roadways and sidewalks due to the narrow sidewalks and the high volume of traffic. Studies completed along the corridor have also found a high number of crashes between vehicles, bikes, and pedestrians. In order to improve safety, we proposed raising seven intersections, Harvey Avenue, Main Street, Auditorium Boulevard, Earl Street, Aura Street, Oak Ridge Boulevard, and Seabreeze Boulevard. We also proposed a continuous shared use path from ISB Boulevard to Seabreeze Boulevard for pedestrians and bicyclists along segments of State Road A1A, South Coat Street, North Coat Street, and North Grandview Avenue. One-way dedicated bike lanes have also been provided on Seabreeze Boulevard and Oak Ridge Boulevard. We introduce curves along State Road A1A, known as chicanes, to slow down traffic. This allowed widening sidewalks in strategic locations and creating smart delivery zones. The Smart Delivery Zone will provide room for delivery vehicles to park without blocking the travel lanes. 
Mid-block crossings have been used at five high pedestrian traffic locations with distinct surface characteristics to provide a safer walking environment. We will now show you a few renderings to give you an idea of how the corridor will look after the proposed improvements. This rendering is at Kemp Street. Note the raised crosswalk, flashing lights known as RRFB, and bollards for enhanced pedestrian safety. This rendering is at Hilton Ocean Center. Note the wider sidewalks. This rendering is at Daytona Beach Regency Hotel. You can see the chicane and the smart delivery zone. The next corridor is East ISB. It is a four-lane roadway with a center turn lane and no median. It has sidewalks on both sides with limited landscaping. We propose converting the corridor into a four-lane divided roadway with a landscaped median. A 10-foot wide shared use path is proposed along the south side. We also incorporated raised pedestrian crossings at multiple locations. This rendering shows the proposed shared use path and the landscape enhancements. Main Street is a two-lane roadway with sidewalks on both sides. It is not a state road. Retractable bollards are used to allow closing parts of the road during events. This is one of the ideas we received from the community's feedback. We are also raising the intersection of Main Street at North Coates Avenue using a textured pavement. It is important to note that the northbound left turn lane from State Road A1A to Main Street will remain open. This rendering shows the use of bollards and the textured paving. The next corridor is Oak Ridge Boulevard. It is a two-lane eastbound one-way road. There is no median or dedicated bicycle facilities. This project is currently under construction. The estimated construction completion is February 2022. A green bike lane is incorporated along with the Zikla zipper system. These plastic modules protect cyclists and prevent vehicles on the road from invading the bike lane. They are highly visible because 50% of the surface is retro-reflective. This is a rendering of the Oak Ridge Boulevard. Here you can clearly see the green bike lane protected by the Zikla zipper system and enhanced landscaping. The next corridor is Seabreeze Boulevard. It is a two-lane westbound one-way road. There is no median or dedicated bicycle facilities. Suggested improvements include a protected bike lane with landscape buffer, in addition to raised crossings. This rendering shows the use of bollards, the dedicated bike lane, and the landscape improvements along Seabreeze Boulevard. We are utilizing a number of innovative treatments along these corridors, such as smart lighting, high-emphasis pedestrian crosswalk lighting, and in-pavement lighting. Other treatments such as walkable tree grates, hurricane-resistant trash cans, modular planters, and imprinted asphalt are recommended. This is a screenshot of the project website where the project documents are posted. It includes the project brochure, alternative concepts, the preferred concept, and 3D renderings. You will also find a 360-degree virtual reality experience as well as a link to a drive through video. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by November 24th, which is 14 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. For those in attendance at the in-person location, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at https colon slash slash www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 449-490-1. You may also email your comments and questions to the project manager directly to stephen.buck at dot.state.fl.us. You may mail written comments and questions to Project Manager Stephen Buck. You may also call the Project Manager at 386-943-5171 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours after the public meeting. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received.
On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. Have a good evening.